there! Today I'm gonna take you 2,000 years back in time. I want to tell you about a woman named Lydia and the start of the first Christian church in Europe. Lydia lived in a city called Philippi in Macedonia. She sold expensive purple cloth which at that time was very difficult to make and her business was quite a success. Oh yes, this Tyrian purple will go perfectly with your eye colour. <laughs> Actually, it looks so good on you, I think I'll give it to you for free. No, 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 please, just keep your money. Let's hurry up. I think the other girls are already waiting for us. Oh, it's so good to see you. Have you had a nice day? Lydia wasn't Jewish, but she believed in the living God. So she often came together with other women to pray. Dear God, thank you for all the blessings in my life. But more importantly, help me to do your will and help me to find the things of eternal value. Amen. Meanwhile, Paul was on a missionary journey across the sea, together with his friends Silas, Luke and Timothy. Hey! Hey! Come over here to Macedonia! It's really important! Please help us! <gasps> Everybody, wake up! I had the strangest dream. I'm sure Jesus wants us to go to Macedonia to tell the people about him. Hmm, can we just get another five minutes? No, no, no. We need to get going straight away. I was in Tarsus, you know, while Jesus himself taught me everything about him, firsthand. It was incredible. Paul and his friends traveled to Macedonia and soon came to Philippi, the town where Lydia lived. Dear God, help me to do your will and help me to find the things of eternal value. Amen. <clears throat> Greetings. I hear that you are praying to the living God. Yes, we do. But have you heard about his son, Jesus Christ? He came to earth to die for our sins and show us how to live for God. I do know the living God, but this name, Jesus, we've never heard of. You said he could show us how to live for God? Who is he? It is the man that has saved my life. Jesus Christ is God's own son and came to earth to save us from sin. I first met him on my way to Damascus. After that, my life was changed completely. And now Jesus lives within me, in my heart. Oh, I want to receive Jesus in my heart too. What, what, what do I have to do to become his disciple? If you want to show that you want to live a new life, and live completely for God, you can be baptized to repentance and forgiveness of sin. Yes, that is all I want. Will you please baptize me and everyone in my home? Yes, this river will work just fine. Paul, I, I, I need to hear so much more about this. If you believe I am faithful to the Lord, please come to my house and stay. Yes, we'd love to stay.
And right there in Lydia's home, the first church in Europe was born. Even though Lydia was a successful businesswoman, she loved God and only wanted to serve him. That's why God could open her heart to understand Paul's message about Jesus. And if we really love God and want to be Jesus' followers, God will open our hearts too, just as he did for that faithful woman in Philippi. So, thanks for following along with this story. I'll see you in another episode of Bible Heroes of Faith. See ya! Oh, hey there! If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up or share it with a friend. Hit subscribe to never miss a new episode and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!